flight's delayed. focusing very well yet today are we um, okay and we're back no we're not we're very low on battery finally focusing a little bit let me switch batteries okay good so welcome everybody uh, let's see the last thing I have to check is the volume let's make sure that's good sure enough it wasn't set quite right so that should be a little bit better so welcome back everybody um, just getting back from the cruise, uh, yesterday was my first day back playing catch-up stuff, and today is my first vlog back. Getting the pipes going, I've got the Scotia Glenville Indoor Number 2 happening in about 10 days, and um, I haven't really been focusing on my solo stuff. I am trying to get my new McCallum pipes going for the event, although I don't think the bag that they gave me, the standard Banatine, I don't think that it's going to work um, that well for what I need. So... I'm probably going to have to find time to switch that out as soon as possible so we can get back to uh, comfortable playing. So, um, good, yeah, I'm just going to get my morning session happening and uh, then I'll touch base with you in a little while. So uh, I think I must have left my knife somewhere as I was packing uh, my pipes for the trip. But I got this really great package from uh, Jordy from the band who has been making these Maverick practice chanters. And if I can ever get in here, uh, I am excited to show you. This is like stapled, so I gotta get this staple out. Nothing else in there. All right. Nice. So, here we go. This is a Maverick practice chanter. go here she is in all of her glory so it's like this colored beautifully turned wood oh yeah 
Yeah. Very, very nice. So in the short run, um, you'll have to Google the Maverick uh, practice changer. Yep, and I ended up at maverickglasgow.com. Um, but, uh, yeah, definitely check them out. It's really, really cool. Made some changes. I played this chanter in my sheepskin bag for the cruise. And, and now I'm getting it reacclimatized to what would be the bannatine with the thingamajigs. And so I was just letting it rest for a little while after I tried to warm up a little bit. And so let's see if uh, things have filled out. And I could probably start to make some tuning changes now. <laughs> Just to walk you through what that is like, you know, the chanter's very, very, very flat now. That's sort of what I expected because I let the moisture soak in. That's going to flatten the pitch. Plus, I've just been letting it sit for a while. So what's actually going to happen is I'll retune the drones. And now the chanter actually won't climb as high as it would before because I have some moisture in there. And once I get things going a little bit, I should be able to listen to the fine tuning of different notes now that the pipe has acclimatized. And I should be able to make you know, um, some tuning decisions and know that, for lack of a better word, that they'll stick because now my pipe is in, it's mostly, or as stable as it's ever going to be, it's in that state, right? And I definitely remember that from last week. I definitely taped down the F and the high G because uh, things were quite sharp on the cruise. So we're gonna unleash some of that. Unleash the tape. Organize the videos, what do you mean? Well, because it's like, okay, the instructors have to do them and then I have to take them and send them over to Melanie and then Melanie has to complete them and then they have to be uploaded to the site, right? Mm -hmm. So it's like quite a long flow. Right. There's like five, there's like five steps in the chain per video. And so, we, which isn't a big deal, except for that different right. people are doing different parts of the chain. All right, I've been meaning to start doing this more often. So here's the workout for today. Double unders, power snatches for 10 straight minutes and seeing how many you can get. So actually, uh, kind of plays to my strengths maybe a little bit. Um, I'm pretty good with the double unders and the snatches at 75 should be quite doable, should be. So I'm kind of looking forward to today. Have to get my game face on. leaving the gym um, so yeah sure enough did pretty well in today's workout I mean there's still athletes in the gym that are way better than me but pretty stoked and so now we're headed back home for uh, some lunch shower and then back to the grind Four 
stocks. Uh, the uh, chanter stock, I'm going to have to cut out because uh, it is actually physically tied into this bag. Five stocks, yes. Now, here's something kind of interesting. This is a Bannatine pipe bag, WMC. So is this. They are different colors, but they do indeed appear to be almost identical in size, if not totally identical. So it would be foolhardy, I think, to uh, tie this in again. With that said, maybe the chanter is just a little, maybe it just needs to come down. So maybe I just need to mess around with the chanter stock a little bit. Hey peeps, I think that's it for today's episode. Sorry for calling you a peep.